all right guys welcome back to the channel i just want to show you guys here uh, what i've done to this john deere x729 put a uh, mr buddy heater in it and it works pretty well so here it is so this is a john deere x729 uh, i think it's 07 or 08 it's got 800 hours on it we use it for snow um, it's got a curtis cab or cozy cab on it see it does have heat here um, right there the heat is nice and warm the lines run up through there up into here but when it gets cold probably i'd say below 20 degrees it has a hard time keeping up and we run this thing for oh i'd say 10 to 12 hours of snow so um it can it can get a little chilly in here so i just want to show you this little this little uh it's a mr buddy or i'm sorry little buddy mr heater and here it is um this is the indoor version um so running in this cab seems to do okay but just want to show you how you fire this thing up there's a there's a button right here you can't see it because of the strap i'm gonna push this in there's a pilot light right there you can see that pilot on release the button and this thing will fire up so here's how i installed it i just went and got brackets and attached them to the cab cut a piece of wood put it right there i i just have it rigged up strapped down right now um i could do a better job of, of strapping this down but this works for now it's pretty uh pretty solid we used it for 10 hours the other night and it worked just fine but um so the thing is with these heaters what you have to do i don't have a video of it somebody else does have a video on youtube is these heaters have a tip over and a bump sensor on them which you've got to bypass that if you're going to use it in this cab because you hit a bump it shuts off so it's really easy to take apart um i'll link a video um to that uh i'll i'll put a link of the video to the other video um, of this guy taking it apart. But anyways, it's got just a, oh, a little safety switch where you basically just pull it apart, pull the wires off, connect the wires back on and bypass that safety switch and you're good to go. This thing will run. Now it's obviously more dangerous this way. It will not shut off if it turns over. So you don't want to be hauling this thing down the road and you know have this thing on and it tips over and you're driving down the road um that would be obviously a bad thing but anyways i just want to show you this it does keep it a lot warmer in here i'd say it probably helps keep it 15 to maybe 20 degrees warmer when it gets really cold um on a day like today we're right around freezing right around 30 32 i probably won't even need to use it but when it gets cold down below probably 15 or 20 uh kicking it on it does a really good job but i got plenty of room here it warms it up so i just fire this thing up there's my regular heater that just heats up off the radiator fluid and i got this thing you can see that it's warming back up
notice too that I've got a rubber blade on here. Nice and solid, doesn't trip as much. 